The next one I looked at was in Exodus chapter 22, verse 1 and 2. If a man steals an ox or a sheep and slaughters it or sells it, he shall pay five oxen for the ox and four sheep for the sheep. If the thief is caught while breaking in and is struck so that he goes out, there will be no blood guiltiness on his account. Okay, that sounds to me like burglary. So let's go take a look at the Texas burglary statute. Here we are, the Texas Penal Code, Title 7, Chapter 30. We scroll down to Section 30.02, Burglary. A person commits this offense if, without the consent of the owner, the person enters into a habitation not open to the public with the intent to commit a felony theft or an assault. But this person, in our example, is intending to commit a theft of some sheep and some oxen. So he has committed the offense of burglary. We go down to section C, an offense under this section is A, felony of the second degree if committed in a habitation, which in our example is. So now we go back to the punishment code and see what the punishment is. Back to title three, punishments. This is a second degree felony, a fine not to exceed 2,000 and a sentence of two to 20 years. Biblically, if the thief is caught while breaking in and is struck so that he is no longer with us, <laughs> there will be no blood guiltiness on his account. So, I mean, you could be taken out for burglary in the ancient times.